Hey guys, bye bye to you here. I'm back, and we covered last episode. We covered all of the tools and all of the brushes. So yeah, just kind of cool. Oh, and we did discover how sizes like boom size. Waha. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> wow. Okay. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Okay. I was wondering where I was. Oh yes, that's right. At the edge of this, you can scroll that out. However, it will... I don't know if it makes it actually... I'm going to test that out. Okay, yeah. So this extends it out with whatever color color 2 is. So if it's yellow, then... Actually, that's kind of more of... Oh, yeah, that is the yellow color, huh? But yeah, so like it just extends however you want. Or whatever color you want. So, yeah. And then if you, so like if you do it over here, you can only bring it in or take it out on the, um, horizontally, that's what I'm trying to say. And this is the same thing, horizontally, or vertically, I mean, is the only way. This one, horizontally and vertically at the same time. So yeah, kind of cool, really kind of cool. So yeah. Anyways, oh yeah, if you hit view, then you can click on zoom in or Control plus page up, and then control plus page down to zoom out or clicking on this. This one is kind of weird. Oh no, it's not. So this down down here in the zoom bar, all that do, all that button does is makes it so that this uh, this is a hundred percent. Okay. Now that you can only see all of this stuff on the bottom, which by the way, um. If you look right here, there's this um, kind of XY thing. So, like, if I have something, if I have, like, a line right here, that was on um, line 7, or that was X of 716 and Y of 112. So, let's just say that I kind of want to make another one. Then I just kind of... I don't know. This would be easier. Okay, I'm gonna explain this in a minute. But so that and that, I can figure out where these two are in relation to each other. So this is 232 of y, and this is 176. So they're not too far, but at the same time they're a little bit far. So yeah. Anyways, um, flip. What was I saying? Um. Should we have an intermission? Oh, no. I don't remember what I was saying. Okay, so this tells you how big your box is. So, like, this will extend it. Oh, no, it won't. I don't know what that does. I have no idea what that does. Oh, that's cool. It shows you your starting and finishing point for these little tools. For the shapes, anyways. So, yeah. This shows this is the one that shows you how big it is so if i increase it or decrease it it will show that so yeah kind of cool and then this tells you how much memory it takes up so it takes this alone takes 9.9 .9 kilobytes i think that's what they called i'm pretty sure that's what they're called okay anyways so the shapes the shapes are really cool okay so there's two kinds of shapes. There's one that is just like a kind of line, and there's actually only two of these, and these are the two. And then the other ones are like more 2D. Like these ones are kind of first dimensional. It's kind of just like a line. But the main difference is now I can make there be a solid color of whatever color 2 is. So with solid color there or you can even make it like marker crayon oil natural pencil watercolor you can have those of the brushes as the inside so like if i do like natural pencil it kind of looks like there's kind of like this pen pencil thing and then you can also for all of them you can edit the outline so like if i want to draw a completely straight line i don't know why that didn't draw oh i did no outline duh I can do it in crayon, so making straight crayon lines. That is exactly what this does. This draws a perfectly straight line 
from the first from the point where you click to the point where you um, stop clicking okay I'm going to do that just so that we can see it a lot easier um, so like let's just say that I want to go from there to there I can draw a line from one to the other and that's how it works so this other one is very similar except it is for more detailed things okay so that first click and drag it's exactly like this one the line this one's called the curve the second time I click if I click down here I can drag it and it will do kind of a wavy thing and basically it kind of it kind of drags this point or the first point and the second point points being where you um dragged it kind of drags it kind of points them more towards where your cursor is or cursor is so yeah but then there's another one and this one kind of adds to the detail that you can have so like I can make it be kind of like that and that kind of not really but kind of looks like there could be like a I don't even know what I was going to say. But yeah, what this is mainly used for, let me just really fast, actually. Solid color. Okay. So, this, let's just say that you're drawing legs. This is, okay, so this is where the knee is, and this is where, like, the joint is that connects to your upper body is. Okay. I said it is too many times, I don't care. Whereas with this one, I can kind of make it like sitting, which by the way, to like, let's just say that this is how I want my line. If, because if I click another time, it's going to edit it. It's going to make it so that it does that. So instead of having to be really careful, I can like, let's just say that I want it like that. I can click on anything else anything at all I don't know about colors I don't think colors would actually work but it's like let's just say that I clicked on the arrow okay that cancels it and now I can draw an arrow or whatever or I can click back on this and then it still won't edit it okay so then as last as I said that and then boom it doesn't it doesn't make it drag okay gonna check on the time really fast okay I have like three minutes left ish okay the rest of these this is a an oval or if you can get it just right it's a circle this is a square this is a square with rounder um, edges this one's kind of weird actually you um, uh, how do I explain this? Let's just say that I want to make a star, okay? So then if I click all the way over there, and then I click right here, and then I click right here, and then I click right here. Oh, maybe, no, it's not only four lines. I think it just recognized that. I have no idea. Okay, so if I just keep clicking, so I can make pretty much an infinitely... Um, sided shape with that okay ah you can also hit control and Y to do the opposite of control and Z you, pro you guys probably already knew that okay I'm actually going to make it so that it has no fill that's getting annoying that is a triangle well that's an equilateral triangle that's the difference because there's another triangle and this is a um I think isosceles yeah it's isosceles so yeah this is a diamond this one draws a hexagon this one oh no a pentagon sorry this one draws a hexagon this one draws an arrow pointing to the right this one is the opposite pointing to the left ah, this one's pointing up actually I'm glad that I did that because I forgot about those two that one's pointing down let me just undo all this um, this is a four-pointed star this is a five-pointed star this is a star of David or a um, kind of talking bubble like I can 
like have some kind of a bubble of talking obviously or I can be like boom and then change that color to like oh sorry I have to do that and then change it yeah although that didn't help black so yeah that's kind of what that's for anyways that's probably the end of the episode um I'll quickly finish all of these okay this is a talking bubble this is a different kind of talking bubble this is a thinking bubble this is a heart and this is a lightning bolt so yeah those are all the shapes and like I said you can have all of them fill in with marker that are three-dimensional or whatever you want so yeah anyways guys um, apparently it's going to be three episodes but in the third episode we will finish up I'm bye bye to you and see you guys on the next episode